unbelievably high. Oh, I hate the first day back at school. I hate uniforms. I washed my jumper and it shrunk. <laughs> Did I go on the meal one? Yeah, you asked me to tell them all about this Skoda. <laughs> what a nice Skoda. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. You know I worked on a Voxel's Fiesta and buying the XR2. Oh, well, God, a little first year. Oh, God, I'm dead nervous. Look at my dead small. so much noise coming from you. You know what's expected of you and I'm certainly hoping that when I come down here again, because this is my corridor for duty, that it will not be you that's making all that noise. Can we have a nod please? Thank you. Sit down. Let's work out a few rules. If you're late, the first thing you must do is report to the office. Say one of the chemistry labs goes on fire and we all have to get out of school. We have to know whether you're here or not. On the first day of school, we went we into know? the form school? classes. We started out, went to our first lessons on the Monday. We don't know where you are. We think you're at home. You could be burning to death in the corridor. Turn around, look at it. First thing really impression was what a big school it was. A lot of big people and it. Didn't like the thought of bumping into some of them. I remember they did run round these big lads and start knocking people over. I'm surprised how big some of them are. Lesson or a maths lesson. You take that with you and you put it on the desk in front of you. So your teachers know who you are. And what you don't do is write on it. The first person I see who's written graffiti all over it is in trouble. See that up there? What's graffiti? When you write on something or you vandalise something? Yes, it's when people write on desks. You have a look at your desk now. I hope there's no writing on it. There shouldn't be very much. I'll get it cleaned off. What you must do every morning and every afternoon registration, you must look at your desk. And if you suddenly find that someone... I thought this is it. I thought... I could get told off and that because the teacher was strict, but it was nice. It was kind to you. On your desk, and you've not told me, I'll blame you for it. so I can put a menu thing out. Thanks, Tony. Can you send it to school? Thanks, Tony. Oh, by the way, um, I'll be sending stuff out about that sportsman's dinner in October, and the weekend, and I'll send you in, and if you, you know, if you let me know, if you want some tickets as our guest, just let me know, and um, I'll book you down. Thanks, Tony. Bye. Today, if you're involved in sport, in a school, you could do with a sort of six weeks course at uh, Brooklyn's Red Coat because that's basically what you are. They basically have to be professional fundraisers. So we've got uh, beans, cups, yeah. tea bags, milk, milk sugar. sugar, passes are coming. Yeah. We're all right. We could go to Dorchester, me and you, love. <laughs> go to Dorchester. Okay. 
you okay. name it, we've sponsored it. Oh, from so uh, sponsored uh, swims, sponsored right runs, on. sponsored parachute jumps, sponsored matches. That's all been done. So, filling in the timetables will be very, very complicated. This is a blank timetable with nothing on it. What we're going to try and do, and you're going to make mistakes, so don't panic about this. I'll come round and help you individually. The only changes you will have are rooms and also certain members of staff. Um, Mr. Reid left. He got a headship, if you remember, in, um, he's gone to Newton. So you're going to have Mr. Owens. So the people who are in Mr. Reid's set will now have the new head of maths. Mr. Owens. Um, Mrs. Miss Jones now becomes Mrs. Chohan. She, she was married in the summer. Also, Miss McGovern is now going to be known as Mrs. Reed. Um, now Mr. Reed left, she's going to be known as Mrs. Reed. Only one column is yours. And when you get that, you look at the one column. And I'll tell you something else now. It'll still mean nothing to you when you get it in a minute. Because it's all in code. And you've got to crack the code. We finance um, the rugby and uh, the girls' sport throughout. We have a lot of uh, drinks machines. And uh, as long as staff keep getting cups of tea and coffee at break, we're fine. I've even had pigeon auctions. One of our old boys, a good hooker we had, uh, Peter Harrison, very, very good with um, pigeons, uh, fancy birds. And uh, we rang around or sent letters around to some of the great sort of pigeon fanciers in the country who donated a small, I don't know the name for a young pigeon, but a, a young chick. And uh, we auctioned them for breeding purposes. We made about a thousand pounds in an hour. Courtesy of the management, don't say that's lumpy. Right? Thank you very much. That's good stuff, that. <laughs> I've made that myself. You need to write me the number of your key. Hey, our sunshine. Fine, there's the number. On there, yeah, look, look, the look, number. look. Against your name, there. Got a pen? Do it now. I was born in Clatterbridge, over the Mercer, at Birkenhead Worth. Well, uh, I was a baby when we moved here. There's me, Cal, Michael, and the twins. Another one coming now, so look forward to that one. And my mum and Richard. That's all the family. And if you count the cat and dog, that's that's five. But my dad doesn't live with us, so. That's the whole family. Yep, yeah, I'm the oldest. I'm gonna sort things out if everything gets out of hand now. Come on, lads, get out of the break, will you? Out you go. Supposed to in certain tellings, finish off at Carla. Okay. Then I'll be a lad and go move somewhere, live in my own house. Where are the radios? Kevin's radio is in there. This one? There's only one. So he's got the other one with him. But does Mum know you have to do if it be a science Okay, tell her when you go home. Have you got your um, place for English? We've got to do worm at the moment, we're doing things else. Um, Oh, you know, for the thing I was doing, Tony Harrison at the moment. Yeah. If I'd have heard once more time that this year is going to be the most important year in my life. Go and learn. I'm Yeah. All right, good boy. Are you all right? You're settling into year eight. Sorry. 
grown up these days, aren't you? No. If I get hit with the ball, I got hit with the ball the other day and I had to chuck it back up. It was getting embarrassing. Oh, you know, you know that lad the other day who stood there and I wanted to waffle his hair. The primary school one, he was stood there today crying. Just a second. I see. Um, well, I suggest you try the end of the lunch hour. Can you do that? Can you move out the way? Mr. Matt, are you allowed to take cats out of the canteen? It's excuse me, isn't it? Excuse me, can you allowed to take cats out of the canteen? No, you're not. You need to drink them in there, okay? Can you drink them off there? No, you go back into the basement. All it in is rigging in there. Right, let them out. Well, what did you do? Went to Scotland. Is it good? It wasn't bad actually. It was all right. Where did you go? I've seen one lot. I've seen them all. Like you know, they're all sitting <laughs> like water with lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and they let you to sleep in number nine dressing. <laughs> <laughs> I told Woody Eric was second me on. And uh, I said to him, like, you Eric, it. Eric <laughs> <laughs> you saw me what? Yeah, you just sat in the car. <laughs> what, what, why do you need money, Andrew? Because I didn't get enough. Because you? I didn't, I didn't bring enough. What for? I try to plan the day. The night before, I make plans for the day. Coming to school, I get the day sorted in my mind. And then I enter a pastoral care office. And it always seems to happen that somebody's sort of left a landmine just inside the door. And I step on this landmine and it blows up in my face. And all sorts of debris fly around that you've got to put back together. Come in, girls. What's the matter? I arrived at school I wondered if the rumours about people flushing their head down the toilet was true. If you ever had a favourite pet, it'd be a snake. Definitely a snake, they're brilliant. Don't want some pork on the street, sir. Cool. And let it out. It'd be about the length of our living room. One thing there, that's good. One thing here, on the field here, please, that's it. George, on here, on here lads, this, this stuff here. The cricket square, which we're gonna look after. Now I'm proud to be the head of Cody. I'm proud to be a part of Cody. Just take that in, well done lads. Uh, George, come in through here, come back now, onto the square here. And those people who went to Cowley before you, those people who live in St. Helens... Lads, come here. ...will know who you are. Don't kick it, pick it up. Arun, what's happening? But I didn't start teaching till I was old. And like a lot of older women in teaching, I found that I was often addressed unconsciously as mum. So perhaps that's not such a bad thing, <laughs> really. Um, I find with it, amongst other children that I have a reputation as a disciplinarian, which always amazes me because I never punish. And it, I shouldn't be saying this, should I? <laughs> but I like Steve and Steve. No, I like me best. Well, there's a boy called Darren Woodcock, and he keeps messing around, but he's funny. We were in French class, and um, he was saying all these funny words in French. Yes, you can use both. I'm a bit concerned about people not concentrating here. Have we decided how to spell blue? How do we spell it? Yeah. Sometimes people
people are a bit sensitive about being called ginger. What do you think of it yourself? Orange. Orange? <laughs> You're a strong-minded Gareth, aren't you? <laughs> Just go and check that spelling on the sheet. Let me know how you learnt to swim, how you became a Morris dancer. She's Who wants got blonde hair, short. But if you messed about, she'd like to tell you off, but she's a nice teacher. I'm stuck for another house job I do, because I do various house jobs, so... It's... These things are letting you down today, aren't they? Everything's coming out back to front. A me and job. Do you make a me and job of washing up, Gareth? I know I make it terrible, but not me. Um. Not me. Um. Oh, How do you spell it? M A I N. Come on, lads, hurry up, please. Twelve years of age. Hopefully, I'll get all my rugby stuff and that. Well, I've already got my boots and that, so I don't really need anything else. It's just the essentials, like bottle and that. When you're playing. So, that's it now. Is it the first time you've been to this cafe and you think you're the only girl that's in it? I'm sure that's not the case. Because there's a lot of people doing technology. Shall I see if I can get hold of Mr. Harding for you? And see if we've sorted. Can you just stay there for a minute, shall I? You want to do it? Is that a So what are you going to do? Split them up? Split them up into uh, both four groups? Yeah. yeah. We'll go through the tackling technique. Yeah. And then we'll sift through them in the normal... We'll sift them to Brian. Well, sift them through in the normal manner then. He won't be able to take them all on his own, will he? Right, Mr Harding's coming to see you, Gillian. And he'll sort it out. Yeah, all right? Are. So do you want to sit quietly in our little restroom for a minute until he comes over? Hmm? Come on. I'm Let's sure she's one. not the only girl in the technology set. Mr. Come on, yeah. Come on in. Here. Come and sit in here. Come here then. You've got some nice armchairs in here. Ah. Oh, come on. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Harding will come over and have a word. Okay? Ah, uh, you're outside the square, buddy. <laughs> See? <laughs> I want to get in the team, definitely want to get in the team. Stop. You've come to this school called Cowley School, which is famous for its rugby. Anyone who's been in the canteen this week and had their lunch would have seen some famous photographs all around that canteen walls of past players who played for Lancashire, England, at Rugby League, at Rugby Union. Now what we're going to do today, as Mr Griffiths will explain, we'll divide you into three groups We've got to show you how to tackle, first of all, to tackle properly so that you don't hurt yourself. It's a rough game, it's a hard game, but we don't want you to injure yourself. Those of you who are thinking about the rugby teams, don't worry. Lads sat down there who never touched a rugby ball in their lives. In five, six years' time, we're playing for England schoolboys. I don't know whether, you, you know, it was... Uh... We knew that beforehand, but she's the only girl in the group. Right. You um, you had your asthma this morning, didn't you? You asthma attack at lunchtime. Uh, you, you haven't changed. So we had problems last year, didn't we? With your ventilin, your inhalers and what have you. Where is it now, Gillian? Have you got, have you got it there? It's in your bag. Mm -hmm. And we had a word with him about changing it, didn't we? 
about the, stu- about the subject. But yes, and also the inhalers as well, like the two are connected. Because right. when she starts to worry about things, you tend to have the, the attack, don't you? Okay. Okay. Now then, the other thing let's start off with, he's coming at me, spitting fire, his knees are coming up. He's, ooh, I'm frightened to death of him. You have to ask Ray French a question about the rugby, how old he was when he retired playing rugby, well, when he finished at Saints. And now we've got to ask him the question. Should I go around here? Should I go around there? Wish I could, don't you? So, just a, just a, a pity in the sense that you, you picked your design realisation because you wanted to do it, didn't you? Did you really want to do it, or was it... What was the decision? Why did you make the decision about design realisation? I want to get better at it, because I'm not very good. I see, OK. Here he is, and he's running. Where's he going to aim for on that body, do you think? Where would you think you could really stop him? Just above his bum? I think it's about 80. Look, see, he, he always has this cap on. I think, he, I think he's bald himself. Because one of the when we were sitting in this room, he said, he said it, his hair was like what it is now when he was playing. Okay. Definitely bald. Hey, heard of you? A lap, off you go. Go on, get get round the field. When I say no talking, I mean no talking. Go on. Got it. Walking, tackling. Off we go. Come on. People who finished first were five so far. Yeah. Yeah. What the next place is? Yeah. Jonathan, yeah. monkeys do that, people don't. You're not going out. Why not? I'm not going out. Well, what happened last time? Dirty wrong, isn't it? Come on out, who else is there? Come here, come on, what do you think you're doing with us? To find out more, see you next week at Cowley High. I've kept the promise, haven't I? 